Merry Christmas. And this is a Merry Christmas special for you guys who just got NBA 2K22 today. This right here is the build that you want to take out to the park and you're going to dominate with it. And it is none other than the playmaking shot creator. But the way I'm going to make it today is going to be like un none other than you've seen before. Trust me. And I'm going to explain to you a little bit on how to use this build. Now, as I always say, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. Because trust me, you do not want to miss out on my daily bills. This is my 196th video for NBA 2K22 this year. And as I always say, I got your back. And the channel gang, you already know I got your back. So we're going to get into this build. Now, we're going to go with the playmaking and the shooting pie chart. And we're going to go pure speed. And then we're going to go all the way up on his close shot, all the way up on his driving layup, all the way up on his driving dunk, all the way up on his standing dunk, all the way up on his uh, post hook. Then we're going to go up on his mid-range. Then we're going to go up on his three-point shot. We're not going to put anything on his fadeaway or his free throw now we're going to bring his ball hand i mean his pass accuracy to 82 and then we're going to bring up his um ball handle now i want to explain to you guys something we're going to take the slasher takeover with this build and the reason why we're going to take the slasher takeover because the slasher takeover is the most powerful bad uh takeover on the game now you could take a spot a spot up or a sharp take or a playmaking take right but this is what I want you guys to clearly understand about NBA 2K22. Right here, you can have this a 62, six, you can have a you can have a sick 59 three ball, and you will be consistent. Trust me. So you do not need a shooting takeover for a per, for a build that has a high three-point shot this year you do not need it and to be honest with you guys who just got the game today it is completely worthless now this build is going to have a total of 50 badges all right and we're going to make them slight and we're going to bring them to 64 and then we're going to bring them all the way to 175 okay now like I was saying, if you took the playmake, the playmaking takeover, right, you're going to get a 10 to your, your playmaking, but you're going to get five to every other category, right? And then you get five to your physicals. But with the slasher takeover, you're going to get a 10 to your ball handle, right? You get a 10 to your ball handle, you're going to get a five to your shooting, you're going to get a five to your defense, and you're going to get a 10 to your finishing as well as the 10 to your physicals. Now, with the sharp take, the playmaking takeover, and the spot up takeover, which we already have uh, explained, which I've already explained to you, new guys who are just getting the game today, that makes no sense because you already have a high three ball, so you're going to hit it anyway. It doesn't it doesn't matter if you have it. It don't. It really doesn't matter if you have that takeover. Now, like I said, you'll get a five to your physicals, and that short changes your build. But with that slasher takeover, you're going to get a 10 in your physicals. You're going to get a 10 in your finishing. You're going to get a 5 to your shooting, a, a, a 10 in your ball handle, a 5 to your pass accuracy, and a 5 to your post control, as well as a 5 to your defense and your rebounding. Now, we're going to bring its wingspan all the way back to 76. Now, you look at how you you'd see you're going to have a 91 three ball. This is not NBA 2K21. Trust me, you guys who are just coming on to NBA 2K22 today, this is not NBA 2K21. You're going to be able to hit with ease. That's You'll find that out very, very quickly about this game here. Now, at 99 overall, you're going to have a close shot and a driving layup of 84. And when you ignite the slash or takeover at 99 overall, and whenever you ignite the slash or takeover at 99 overall, you're going to get those numbers that I said before. But when you ignite it at 99 overall, you're going to have a close shot of 94. You're going to have a driving dunk of 67. And when you ignite the slash or takeover, that's going to be a 77. You're going to have a standing dunk of... Uh, 53 and when your knight decides to take over that's going to be a 63 and then you're going to have a post hook 
of 74 and when your knight decides to take over that's going to be an 84 now you're going to have a mid-range shot of 99 and 99 overall and when your knight decides to take over that is going to be 104 because that's going to go over the cap of 99 now you're going to have a mid-range a three-pointer of 95 and when your knight decides to take over that as well goes over the cap of 99 at 100 now you're going to have a pass accuracy of 86 and when your knight decides to take over at 99 overall that is going to be excuse me that's going to be a 91 and then you're going to have a ball control ball handle of 90 at 99 overall and when you ignite the slash and take over that will be over the cap of 99 as well with 100 see that's what i said that's why you do not need to take the play take with this build right here because it already gives you what you really need which is the ball handle over 100 okay that's the power of the slasher takeover that's what i was trying to tell you guys trust me this is the best playmaker shot creator on the game right now as far as going over being able to go into the park and dominate and they go into the wreck and dominate as well now you're going to have a perimeter defense and a lot of quickness of 78 and 99 overall and when you ignite the slash to take over those will be 83 you're going to have a steal of 81 so you're going to be a pickpocket and when you ignite the slash to take over 99 overall that's going to be an 86 now you're going to have a defensive rebound of 67 and when you ignite the slash to take over at 99 overall that is going to be a 71 this build is amazing now to the juicy part with the slash to take over where this build once you get it to 99 overall and you ignite that size to take over this is the ultimate playmaking shot creator ever created now we all know there's four ways you get the fours the gatorade facility and then you're going to notice about the gatorade facility um very fastly you get plus added bonuses to your builds. Like if you do good on the jump box, you're going to get a plus 15 to your three-point shot. If you do good on the treadmill, you're going to get a, a plus 15 with your speed on um, on the ball while you're dribbling. There's so many things that have changed where you're going to notice you cannot do the same things that you did in 2K21. You cannot bring those that mindset or that attitude into 2K22. Now, the other way is to get into level 40 this year. It's not a hard process. You can do it. And then you'll get, gym rat bad, you'll get the gym rat badge for all the bills that you create. Then the other way is by getting to the NBA championship, which is not easy as it is on NBA 2K21. You will have a hard way to go against um, the NBA team in the finals on pro level. I guarantee you that. That's not going to be an easy win. Now, the other way we all know is by getting to 99 overall, and then you get the plus fours. So at 99 overall, you're gonna have a speed of 97. You're gonna have an acceleration of 90, of 96. You're gonna have a vertical of 72, and then you're gonna have a strength of 59. I mean, of 49. Now the other takeovers will give you a five to that. And the key to the uh, slashing, uh, the, I mean, the playmaker shot creator is speed. So with the slash and takeover, you're going to have a speed of 107 because that goes over the cap of 99. And then you're going to have an acceleration of 106 because that goes over the cap of 99 as well. And then you're going to have a vertical of 82 at 99 overall when United decides to take over. And then you're going to have a strength of 59 when you ignite the slash to take over. This is the ultimate playmaking shot creator on the game right now in the park on the 15th deck when you go up in twos or threes or in in um wreck this is going to be one of the hardest builds to guard because you're going to be able to do so many things with it and it's ultra fast now like i said now you can take that and get a five to your physicals because like i said it's all about speed you do not need a shot you do not need a spot up because you're going to shoot your spot up shot anyway you know how to find a spot up shot from the seat of your chair you know how to shot create from the seat of your chair you do not need this either it is overblown this year on the game this as well as overblown this right here is the op build i mean badge on the game that you want this is what's going to make your playmaker shot creator different from all the other ones out in the park and if any other 
builder tells you to take one of these, that only shows that they have a lack of IQ and they're telling you to take short change your build and that's something you don't want to do you want your build to be the best if you want your build to be the fastest playmaker shot creator you don't take this you don't take this you don't take this you take this right here the slash and takeover and there you have it Darius Garland Cole Anthony and Damon Lillard playmaking shot creator only here at Live's channel will you find this build that is constructed this way. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. The channel game, you know I got your back. New subscribers, you already know I got your back. Now, Merry Christmas to all. Now, what we're going to do is we want to get into this building. What I mean by that is I'm going to test this building. What I mean, I'm going to just show you where I would place the badges if I was to use this build. Because I really want you guys to know coming in to this, you know, because I know you guys got the game today. So I really want to explain to you guys on how to play this game the right way. And badges that you, takeovers that you don't need and the takeover that you do need on this game is the slash of takeover. Now, we're going to go unstrippable. You're going to go, you're going to go limitless takeoff because you're going to be able to take off from a distance with a layup and you're going to be able to go up for dunks and then fearless finishes is going to make you be able to finish strong at the rim. Now, we're going to go with 17. Now, you new guys, this right here, if you're going to use shot time and shot, me, shot meter, you want to use this right here. And this is the sniper badge. It's very powerful. You want to go with hot zone hunter because hot zone hunter is automatic this year. You really don't need that eye, but you're gonna we're gonna go blinders, and then what we're gonna do, I would say you could use circus threes if you wanted to. With guys know how to shoot and you're very great at shooting, go circus threes. And the reason why I won't go dead eye because you get a lot. You're gonna take a lot of people off the dribble off this build, and they're gonna be jumping at you from the side rather than being in your face. So that's what you want on this. You want to go blinders, okay? You really don't need green machine. Because that's your green machine right there. Trust me. And that's just as good as green machine this year. And then I'm just going to go slippery off the ball just because 3-on-3 three three is a fast break game. And if somebody's trying to impede your progress, this right here is going to help you move out of their way a little bit better. Now, we got 18 playmaking badges, right? Of course, we're going to make you unpluckable. Where are we at? We're going to quick first step, Hall of Fame. You really don't need downhill. Uh, let's go with quick chain Hall of Fame because we're going to accommodate them dribbles. And then we'll go with one more, hyper drive. And this is really going to make you hard to stop. And then right here, triple threat because this right here, this triple threat juke is very nice. And what it is, okay, the one is up, the three is under, and the two is over. And then the two is over, three under, one up. It goes kind of clockwise. Okay, so whenever you want to take a guy off the dribble or you just want to triple threat, uh, juke him for the jump shot, this is going to make it tremendously faster. And then when you're using this and then the fact that you can go to the hole on your defender, you got the ultimate quick first step. Now, we got three, and we're just going to go right here. We're going to go with Intimidator and Pickpocket. Now, you could go with Clamps if you want to. And let's go with Clamps. Matter of fact, we just take the Clamps. But you can go with Intimidator. And if I was to honestly set this up for you guys, I'll go right here, Clamps, Intimidator, Pickpocket, and then I would use Chase Down. Because this badge is so powerful this year. You're going to get blocks. You're going to be able to get blocks with this build. Trust me, because just because you have a badge on it, you're going to, it's, the animation is going to show. And I want you guys to know something also. This year, you have computer-assisted defense from the game. It helps you out on defense. That's something else that you're going to notice, the difference between 2K22 and 2K21. On 2K21, you would see a ball fly. be like, dang, I should have picked that. You don't even have to press square. The computer will take it for you. Trust me. All right, but we're going to go here, and then we're going to go right here on the clamps. And there you have it. 
only an Ant Liza channel. Now, do you have the best playmaking shot playmaker on the game that can go in the park or wreck and dominate? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. The channel game, you know I got your back. Merry Christmas, guys. And Merry Christmas to you guys who just got NBA 2K22 today. You're going to love this build. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Trust me, I got your back. Without anything further being said, I am out.